Congressional District 6 nominated their Democrat for a candidate for 2010. A veteran, a pilot, a patriotic system, a citizen, please welcome our candidate for CD6, John Flerledge. Thank you, Democrats. Thank you. And thank you to all the Democrats of the Congressional District 6 for your support. Arapahoe County, Douglas County, Elbert County, Park County, and my own Jefferson County. And thank you to my family, my wife Elena, Carl, and all the rest of my family for their great support in winning the nomination for Congressional District 6. And thank you to my campaign team and all the rest of the Democrats here today. Thank you. It is my belief that it is a fact that generations are named and judged. We all know that the generation that came of age during World War II was judged to be the greatest generation. But I'm not so sure, if time stopped today, that my generation would be judged so favorably. But time doesn't stop. And we still have time to meet our obligations. We are obligated to leave a more peaceful world, a more just world, a more livable world, and a world that leaves better opportunity for the next generation of Americans. Now, before me, there was no candidate from the Congressional District 5. Every time we don't support and raise candidates from districts, we allow the resources of those districts to fight great representatives like Representative Markey and Perlmutter around our state. And that can't happen. We have to support our candidates in every district in this state. <laughs> and we also give a free pass to people like Doug Lamborn to the United States Congress. Well, Mike Kaufman, Co Congressman Lobbyist Kaufman, will not receive a free pass in the 6th Congressional District. <laughs> We've changed the odds in the 6th Congressional District by bringing together community leaders, working families, and business leaders to change those odds. Now, when people see Mr. Kaufman on the floor of the House or on television, it doesn't register that he's from the 6th District. It registers that he's from Colorado. Do you want to be represented by a man who stands with the Tea Party? By a man who thinks that health care for all is unconstitutional? By a man that contends that putting 50 trillion pounds of CO2 into the air every year has no effect on the climate? It's an absurdity. Now, all of us agree, Democrats, independents, and Republicans, that there is no limit on what America can achieve and what we can achieve as individuals. But as Democrats, we believe there's a minimum. We believe there's a minimum. We believe everyone deserves a doctor, a roof over their head, a quality education, and a job with a living wage. <clears throat> now, the election this year, the election this year is going to be about ending the wars responsibly and bringing our troops home. It's going to be about creating jobs and prosperity. It is going to be about having a vision for the future. And having a vision for the future depends on the fact that we understand our economy runs on people and energy and trade. We must invest in our people's education. We must invest in clean American-made energy. And we must support small, medium, and large corporations that export goods and services all over this world and reach the President's objective of doubling exports in the next five years. And and confront countries that don't trade tre freely and fairly, such as China. Now, I'm a retired Marine. <clears throat> a little over five years ago, the Marine, the Marine Corps was sent into Fallujah in Anbar province. And in January of this year, the last major Marine Corps unit left that country. And no one, I won't say no one, very few people predicted 
that Anbar province would be a more peaceful place when they left. And part of that formula was they worked with Sunni tribal leaders in that country. Now, if our Marines can work with the Sunni Muslims in Iraq to make a more peaceful place, we can certainly work across the aisle to make our world a more peaceful place. I'm an airline captain. All of you remember a U.S. Airways jet that flamed out over New York City. And I can tell you the mindset I bring to this race. All of the observers, whether they were on the Empire State Building or looking at a radar, predicted certain doom for the passengers on that aircraft. But the captain of that aircraft knew there was a certainty of success. And he landed that aircraft in the water, and everyone walked away unscathed. That's what I bring to this race. So I tell you, Congressman Lobbyist Kaufman will not be going back to Washington, and we will have the first Democratic representative from the 6th District of Colorado in the history of that district. Thank you.